Good afternoon, everyone. This is Henry Gamble with SimplerTrading.com, and in tonight's free video, I wanted to begin by encouraging you to subscribe to these videos if you haven't already. You should find that icon kind of down below in the bottom right-hand corner of this, and I encourage that because I really try to bring the best content that I can to you in these free videos, right? They're not a throwaway idea or just something to kind of get the free video out there. There is good trading information to be learned here, and we're going to start with what I brought to you in last Friday's video. I really enjoy getting to do these on the into the weekend for whatever reason, but um, the signal we were covering at that time was this daily squeeze. It's a phase of compression that suggests that a directional move is imminent. So with that way of thinking, and also thinking that financials needed to participate if the market was going to continue to move higher, uh, JP Morgan needed to participate. So look at this off of the idea that from this swing high down into this swing low, when we were discussing this, it was right down in here, right? Because we've had five trading days since, of course. So we were down in this area, analyzing this signal and looking for a pop into your 618 retracement. And it's just such a perfect area to see that product end up finding resistance. So, you know, good signals, good trade, and I, I couldn't ask for a better respect of the resistance level that I brought you in that previous video. Now what you would look for is can we continue to run into something like this swing? So if you project this move higher, that would suggest that maybe we can get up to 110. All right, if that idea is going to be any good, I would like to see that the symmetry of these declines remains intact. That is just to say that this is now the bullish trend that you're trying to work with, and if that bullish trend is going to remain intact, then ideally you don't fall any further than you have previously. So to just run one of those levels quickly, that would be $100.17. Not bad for psychological support either, right? So I'll be keeping a close eye on that one, but I do think that is a very helpful resolution and follow-up from the signals we discussed previously. Now, if you go back into the videos that were just prior to that, there was CRM, and this is one that is still waiting with the same plan. You can see some of these previous symmetrical declines and how they're projected down into where we have traded this week. So not quite as perfect as I might prefer, but remember that I look at this work just to study the corrections inside the otherwise bullish trend. And then when it's correcting, you're just thinking, well, it's just repeating the pattern that it has over and over inside of this. Granted, you know, if you do that from this swing high to this swing low, then that would be, you know, much deeper downside prices. So you've got to, you know, use other forms of trading to help manage your risk, but it's a great way of thinking about the trend. All right, with that concept in mind, CRM still looks prime for the potential of a run into earnings. One of the other trades that I brought you was the idea of buying the Delta 40 NVIDIA options and running them into earnings off of the daily squeeze. This is another that was you know, presented in these free videos that just worked out as perfectly as I could have asked for. You move into the 1618 extension, and that's really pretty much ideal. Um, the last that I'm gonna show you as far as recapping this previous content is UNH. We step back and look at this from the biggest time frame, and I really encourage the studying of more kind of position trading or trying to be in things where you're not too um, managing it too tight. You know, you kind of just put a little bit of cash in it, whatever you're willing to risk and let go of, and see what these signals can do. So we began with this foundation of the monthly squeeze, and then when we were doing these videos, complemented on the daily squeeze as well, and you can see that excellent directional move that UNH has seen. So I bring you all of that just to say that, you know, there again, these uh, weekend videos, I hope you find helpful. If you study them over time, I do think they will help make you a better trader. And then the two that I'm going to give you for study into next week, and who knows exactly how they will resolve, but I think two very important products is gonna, are going to be Tesla and Amazon. So when you look at Tesla, you can see that the squeeze rolled lower for a while, but today, at the end of today's session, that bar should close and solidify the signal for the push higher. Now granted, it has already you know, come a good deal off of those lows, but with the um, split on the horizon, with this technical signal that can allow for bigger than expected moves, I think you have to consider that potential. So in time, you have some very healthy extensions up here. We'll see how far it gets prior to the split, 
and then that other here with Amazon where you just got the same thing. So these are some of the biggest stocks and if the market is, if the broader indexes are going to continue to push higher, these need to do the same. So I hope that's helpful. You guys have a great weekend and we will see you at the next free video.